Konnichiwa kimono wearers. Nazawa has been delivering snow, 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 snow. That snow has been nice, very nice. But we can't board and ski 24 hours a day. Some would hurtfully say what we're doing isn't even boarding. Well, a pox on you haters. So where have we been resting our tired bodies? Altitude Nazawa has been our resting place. Picture a gorgeous five-star Japanese ryokan, manicured gardens, tatami mats, futon beds like sleeping on a cloud, outdoor onsen with mountain views, sumptuous in-house kaiseki multi-course dinners, and traditional Japanese breakfasts. Picture all of those things, but don't expect them at altitude as lower. If you do expect them, you'll end up crying into your teacups. Haha, <laughs> got you there, suckers. Altitude Nazawa is a western style hotel on the edge of town. Decent sized rooms, the rooms with the best views in my opinion are the twins and triples which face out the front of the hotel, while queen rooms, that is for romantic couples, face out the back. Or maybe that trio of Mick, John and Kenny are on a romantic boys trip, it's possible. Disappointingly, the rooms don't have Japanese bidet style toilets. It's like returning to the bloody dark ages but happily the public toilets on the ground floor do, so just jump in there if you've become addicted to the oscillation function. Don't worry about the location on the edge of town. They pick you up from Nozawa bus terminal, they run you into town and pick you up in the evenings. In the mornings they can take you to Nagasaki base. Free local shuttle bus stop is a hop, step and a jump away too. Getting around is easy as. For Brecky, there's a hot dish each day, and then a few cereals, breads and jams, ham, cheese, tomato, juices, all of that stuff. Limited range if what you're used to is huge buffets and eating your body weight each morning, but they get no complaints from us. Unless a certain someone's fried egg yolks are too runny, then there's going to be real trouble. In a 10 night stay we didn't have the same hot dish on any morning, so they do well mixing things up. A common theme though is eggs. If you like eggs for brekkie, you'll be as happy as a pig in mud, unless your yolks are too runny. Ooh, make yourself a cheese toasty. This was after an overnight dumping, we got some great snow during our trip. I imagine this is the ultimate job if you like Tonka trucks as a kid. Hiro was one of the people working here, the only Japanese as it turned out, friendly guy, good value. On only one morning during our stay did we not get eggs. On that morning we had fluffy pancakes with a fruit compote. I'd never heard of Hiyashi beef before this trip, but it is gold. Beef and gravy, in this case served over eggs, very oishi. The local shuttle bus stop is 30 metres down the road. Look at these two ends. <laughs> You can take this shortcut back to the hotel, but you probably don't want to depending on snow depth. They're coming straight in here. <laughs> oh, people do. There's a great big brick wall there. He's chucked the skis. She's gonna. Made <laughs> <laughs> for effort. We had a good laugh with them later about their efforts. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty hard now. One, two, <coughs> go! Sorry, not the same part very much. Little Udon and Delight Ooh. making snowballs out the front. Good to see they are friends again after the big race. They're not sinking in the snow now. Go! Good throw, hey? Yeah. Okay, that's enough snowball fun. More about Altitude Nazawa. 
It's a very handy drying room and lockers. That boot rack is directly in front of the heater. It works a treat. There's a washing machine and dryer if you're there for a while. Washing machine is free, including detergent. Dryer is coin operated. There's a communal lounge area, there's Wi-Fi, and you get Netflix in your rooms. They sell basic snacks. Help yourself to tea, coffee, and hot chocolate. And there's a drink vending machine, and they don't charge rip-off prices. It's all very handy. If you need to hire gear, there's a sports thanks outlet 250 metres up the road. So what will it cost you to rest your head at altitude Nazawa? Well that kind of depends on what part of the season you're in Nazawa, room type and how long you're staying. But let's call it about 160 Australian dollars a night for a clean room. We'd happily make a return visit. Whether they'd have us back is another question. Of course they'd have us back. We are very decent people. And they loved it when Budgie sat in the front of the van and made riveting conversation on the ride into town each evening. They never stood a chance. We have trouble deciphering his mumblings most of the time. Well, that's all for now. Altitude Nazara is definitely worth staying at. Arigato gozaimasu for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe and wear a helmet. <laughs>